All right, here we go. Here we go. Got something going on. This is Oculus Medium 2.2, latest version. Man, those uh, Medium guys did a great job on this one. I, I cannot say enough good things about it. So here we got the old uh, St. Nick, right? Hey, St. Nick, how's it going? And in case you're wondering, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's not anatomically correct, but he's definitely naked under all those clothes. So I don't know how well this comes out on the... Uh, straight feed there. Yeah, it's pretty good. He's a real shiny. And this is, um, it's got a metallic uh, surface for this part here. And um, and I used the flat shader for other parts of him. And basically just uh, created this in a T-pose. All right. And what I want to show you is this is a standard, you know, I just created this this guy here. This is, uh, this is Saint Nick. All right. So then what I did was, and this, this whole sculpt took maybe somewhere between 30 minutes and an hour. And then what, what I did was I went into, um, I went here to export and I exported him as an FBX with vertex colors. I did not use textures, I used vertex colors. And I set the triangles way down at the bottom. It just makes it a smaller file, it's easier to export it, etc. Okay, so I exported that and I, and I took this guy and um, took this guy and brought and exported it as an FBX. And I brought that into and we're going to exit medium now. I'm just trying to show you the whole workflow here. I brought that into Mixamo. Uh, Mixamo is a website you can go to. Um, I uploaded him. As you can see, he does not have any colors on his body at all here. And I went through their auto rigging process, and it basically says, uh, click on the elbows, click on the wrists, click on the knees, that kind of thing. When I was finished, I clicked on, you can click the download button here, and it's going to download a T-pose. And the T-pose is basically that rig that, that they created inside that, uh, inside that body. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what that looks like. We're gonna download that T-pose, and we're going to put it and not in scenes, I'm just gonna put it in the assets folder here, boom. Okay, so now hopping over here to Unity, it will import that. Okay, and here what I wanna do is go to Rig and select Humanoid and Apply. So in Glycon, very simply, we're just gonna hop in here and we're gonna do this. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're going to record some animation. I'm just going to wave, and it's going to be really simple. Hey, you're cool. And then uh, stop recording. Okay, so it's going to be glitchy for a few seconds while it finishes this. If you have an SSD drive, this happens like that. If you have a non-SSD drive, you get to wait around for a few seconds. And it, yeah, it's up, it's up to you. So it's going to be glitchy for a little bit, and then it will stop being glitchy, and it will say not recording at the top. And when you're there, um, you're basically you're done recording, right? So here are the instructions over here. Oh yeah, and this is the new version. It's coming out um, in a few days. I, I have a few more bugs I got to fix, but this one actually has uh, some. Um, you can you can generate you can create props um, in the world, and you can export those. We're not going to do that in this video, but you know if I wanted to create a, a window to look through or um, a computer screen that I was supposed to interact with. You know, I could sit here and go do 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 do, and then when I export it, it's going to export um, this creation too, and so I can very easily drop in my high res uh, replacement for this into my Unity scene or computer. You know, if I'm doing a, a render in Blender or something like that, I can I can just drop that straight in. So I drop in my high res thing here and render the whole thing out along with my animation. Um, more on that later. This will this is a, the new feature and it's uh, coming out in the next version. And it has a it's a full little sculpting uh, app thing in there, but it's just for it's it's real primitive. It's just for blocking out your environment uh, so that you have something that you can you know kind of interact with. So like this is like a little window here. Hi neighbor. Okay. So anyway, um, we're done here. We anim we exported the animation, and we can quit blank on now.
Now we'll hop back over here to our um, FBX files and it'll be the top one in, a, in this folder it generates Glycon FBX on your desktop and it'll be this top animation right here so we're just going to drag this in here just like that and we want to select that and set it to humanoid also okay and then uh, now that we're done with that um, we can grab Santa here and we're going to create a very simple we're just going to create a uh, an animation controller and it doesn't have to be named anything special or anything just animation controller and drag that onto Santa and then double click it and now we're going to take our uh, click on the glycon animation you brought in and drag that base stack one in and you're done so now if we hit play Santa should animate oh let's do this uh, not maximize there we go there it is that's all it takes So one more thing I wanted to show you was that with the right vertex shader, you can actually get these colors in, in Unity without having to use textures. And so if you're using Oculus Medium and you save it, you save your FBX file to have vertex colors, all you need is a vertex shader. And I will provide a link to the vertex shader at the end of this video. And all you do is basically um, apply it to a material. And in this case, we applied it to this one here. And then we went into our scene, and for each of the layers of Santa, we basically just uh, drag this Santa material straight onto the body, and that's all it took. And now we have our working colors there in the scene with no textures. There'll be a link to the free vertex shader in the description for this video. Thank you.